And then back then when you're when you're a kid, you don't like you you're just, just impressionable. Yeah, and you just like whatever an adult will tell you for the most part, if you think that adult like knows stuff <laughs> or you respect them, then you will adopt their view because you know, that's just what it is. Until you start like, you know, later on life like realizing that like there's you need to form your own opinion and like realize that like a lot of shit that is that is information that's given to you is propaganda or it is like somebody is trying to, you know, you know, I I guess like warp something or sell something or whatever it is Mm -hmm. for a reason. Like guide guide your view. Yeah. But for whatever reason. And 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 most of the time it's rooted in in capitalism. But like that's just that's another, you know, talk, but that's just what it is. Like the world runs on money, unfortunately. And like people are swayed and they don't even know they're being swayed. So like Mm -hmm. once you realize like there's still a ton of people out here who would just be like like I can even I know my my parents probably maybe not my mom since she's a, like in the medical profession so like she knows like it's irrefutable that there's yeah medical positives from 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 cannabis but like there's mm-hmm. a bunch of people bro and like I won't say they're older people but like I I would <laughs> I would guess that they are of an older generation who are not fucking with weed based on shit you know, propaganda from, from the government. Like I've, I've seen like, uh, there was like a history channel, like a uh, documentary about like just the, the, the way cannabis was portrayed and what, what, like by, you know, media, by the government and why it was portrayed that way. And, it, and, it's, and it's all based on like, you know, monetary and political motivations, but like those stigmas, you know, like prevail today like i'm pretty sure i had adopted those views of like oh weed is just bad for it's bad mm-hmm. you know it's smoke i had no you know i had no actual like practical knowledge of anything about weed i just assumed based on what i heard or knew or what my parents told me so like which is dangerous you know because like mm-hmm. a lot of people do not later on like realize that that's flawed they just yeah i was gonna say do you think adulthood. that i was gonna say do you think that like you smoking weed help you gain those new perspectives that, you know, maybe some of this stuff is bullshit. Um, yeah. Or I mean, do you, think it I was just like, do you think it was just like general growth and maturity? It's, I think it's both. I mean, I mean, I, I know myself. So like, I know what weed does to me and I know how to be a functioning human being, <laughs> like, because it's not hard. You know what I mean? Um, but like, that's just me. So like, I know, I know that like, I know there's positive effects and I know that it can't, there can be negative effects, but those negative effects like are just also tied to you yourself. I don't really think like you can get addicted to, to, to weed. I know you can get yeah, no. potentially dependent on it. And I think addiction is a little bit different, but like, yeah, I mean, I think it's both. I think it's just me growing as a person you know, in various ways and also like partaking in weed and knowing that like this shit, you know, it, it, it makes me think on a, on a, on a, a different level, not to say it's a better level, but it's different. And like stuff that I think of is like, you know, it's just, it's just a different, you know, feel than the norm, which I appreciate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think, you know, as you were talking about, like, addiction with it and everything. I mean, everybody's different, you know, like, um, and when it comes to stigmas and stuff, it's, it's just bizarre that there, there isn't a stigma, uh, with alcohol, um, where, you know, everyone's different with that too. Like some people can have a drink and go out and have fun. And I mean, there's some people that they can't even have one sip without ending up blacked out and, you know, waking up in Vegas, married to a stripper, you know, I mean, there's, just, <laughs> I mean, just everybody, you know, it, it's, it's knowing yourself and knowing your limits and stuff like that. And it is unfortunate that due to those, uh, you know, economic and political pressures that at one point in American history, we, we made one substance illegal and one, uh, fully accepted. And then that, that stigma yeah. has lasted a couple generations now. A- yeah. And I mean, we enforced that stigma on the rest of the world too. I, you know, I, I yeah. guess I don't know too much of the history of, of marijuana laws, but you know, I know that, uh, the United States are a huge part, uh, 
of that, you know, of, of spreading that, that stigma, um, you know, and we obviously saw other countries, uh, you know, loosen their laws and change their laws before we did, you know, we're, we're yeah. just doing it now, you know, finally. Yeah. Like, I mean, I guess better late than never, but like, it's crazy how for years, bro, they're just cigarettes, bro. You can, you can get cigarettes. You can smoke the shit out of them shits. Even, even, even your employer will allow you to take multiple cigarette breaks. Not even like that many bathroom breaks. Like people who smoke are, are, are like accepted to take a break an hour to smoke. Yeah. And and just you know what I mean, and it's like okay, and this is a this is a, a substance that like literally can kill you and can like like physically uh, like like out, affect your outwardly appearance. That's how m- much it can affect you. It can affect your teeth. It affects how you smell. It affects how you can even taste shit. Like your yeah. taste buds get shot. And this is this is has no no opposition from the government. Because of because it makes money, like like the largest corporations who are are intertwined with politicians and and politics because you know they fund who you know they fund people and like you know have people in their pocket because they fund campaigns. These are fat ass companies, bro. It's like tobacco companies. Now the it's like moving away from that, I think. And now it's like you know pharmaceuticals and shit. But like mm-hmm. it's just like. We allowed that, like, our government allowed that shit. And the people are dying from lung cancer. People are getting holes in their talk boxes and shit to the point where, like, mm-hmm. organizations are like, well, shit, let's, we got to have a whole ass campaign for the kids <laughs> to, like, mm-hmm. stave them off of, of smoking cigarettes, bro. Because, like, cigarettes have been made to look cool and, and like, you know, and it's like, damn, they're, they're, fucking dare bro from high school or fucking elementary was not even geared against cigarettes bro it was geared against like weed <laughs> yeah <laughs> and yeah. like drug like you know that's crazy bro when there were there were no discernible like health um findings like on, on a mass scale for for weed but there were for cigarettes and yet that shit is legal as fuck uh people are buying this fuck out of that because they're addicted to it you are literally addicted by nicotine like you, you need the shit that shit yeah. is crazy bro that that type of substance was was <laughs> was was made like essential to the u.s by the government yeah and weed was somehow made to be the villain's drug like a like a gateway drug which i i mean i kind of believe it can be a gateway drug but not for real bro like that shit is not no shit where i'm gonna be like well damn let me go try some motherfucking heroin now. I've been done some weed. Let me go shoot some shit up. Yeah. I'm, that's but like that's just wild to me. And it's just like, ah, now we're in fucking 2019. Finally, <laughs> some states are, are legalizing it. Yeah. And it will probably be another 10 to 15, 20 years before like the actual federal government does it. And when they do do it, it will be monetarily uh monetary motivation because just here in Florida, bro, there's there's um a push for the legalization of it. Like it's it's legal like medically, but like it's a push for just like rec- rec- recreational use. And one of the biggest lawyers in the country is like one of the main ones like pushing for this. And this man has su- such a stupid amount of money that he can like he can like literally like potentially make this a viable thing like we're like you know and he's like on his way to doing it and i'm pretty sure it's because he has investments in in you know farms or 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 you know cannabis businesses over here which is fine I'll, I'll, that's that's good I, I, but like but but again that's monetarily based it just happens to be in a in the you know the way that fate like that i appreciate because it favors me like it, it 